Hello, church family and friends. It's a somber day. Good Friday. The day of Holy Week that we remember Christ's sacrifice on the cross. The day he was abused and tortured and experienced this awful, painful death. As Jesus hung on the cross, we may remember that he made seven statements. Sometimes we refer to the, them as the seven words, the last seven words of Christ, but they're actually seven statements that he made. And one of the last statements he made was, it is finished. It is finished. Some would have us believe that Jesus in saying that was admitting defeat. Here was this man who was a prophet. Here was this man who was a teacher. Yes, he'd proven to be a healer, but Messiah? No. No, it's finished. He's defeated. He's dying on this cross. I'm reminded of a boxing match several years ago when two tremendous boxers were in a fight and one of them, an Hispanic boxer who was world known, in the middle of the fight said these words, no mas, no mas. He didn't want any more. He stopped. He didn't want any more punishment. He didn't want to take any more of this abuse. And so he quit right in the middle of it. And there's some that are, oh, would say to us that that's what Jesus did. He quit. He realized he was defeated. No mas, no mas. But Jesus in saying it is finished is a much different statement than what some would have us believed. It's like when Michelangelo finished that last brush of painting on the Sistine Chapel ceiling. He said in exclamation, it is finished. My masterpiece is done. It's complete. Look at this beautiful work. That's what Jesus did for us in saying it is finished. My masterpiece is done. I've done what I've come to do. My mission is complete. My blood is there for you for the forgiveness of your sins. I offer you new life. I offer you new hope. Jesus is saying it is finished. It is not saying to us that he's defeated. It's saying it's complete. It's complete and his work can be complete in us today. It is not a cry of defeat. It is Jesus' way of saying and showing us that there is no greater love than for one to lay down his life for his friends. It is finished. Oh, what a claim of victory that we have today, that Jesus' work in us is complete when we trust in him as our Lord and our Savior. May God bless you on this holy day and keep you in his care. Amen.